uh, Amnesty came out with a, this report um, accusing Israel of uh, imposing apartheid on the Palestinians um, with policies of segregation, dispossession, and exclusion uh, that amount to crimes against humanity. And you know, what's the U.S. government's response to that? Um, you know, do you agree with the the conclusions of this report? Um, and do you share those concerns about about the situation there in Israel? Well, Simon, you know that as a general matter, we don't offer public comprehensive evaluations uh, of reports by outside groups. Uh, we have our own rigorous standards uh, and processes for making determinations on potential human rights abuses, for documenting uh, what we see take place uh, around the world, uh, including on an annual basis in uh, the Human Rights Report. Uh, what I will say, however, is that we reject the view that Israel's actions constitute apartheid. Uh, the department's own reports have never used such terminology. Uh, we are committed to promoting respect for human rights in Israel and the West Bank and, Gaza, and the Gaza Strip. Uh, we have an enduring partnership with Israel, and we discuss a wide, wide range of issues uh, with our Israeli counterparts, including those related to human rights. We support the efforts of the Israeli government, of the Palestinian Authority, alongside uh, human rights activists to ensure accountability for human rights violations and abuses. And we continue to emphasize to Israel and to the Palestinian Authority the need to refrain, as you've heard us say repeatedly, from unilateral actions that exacerbate tensions. Uh, this includes the annexation of territory, settlement activity, demolitions, incitement of violence, and the providing of compensations for individuals imprisoned uh, for acts of terrorism. Uh, we take all allegations of human rights abuses seriously. That is true uh, around the world, uh, including allegations of arbitrary detention, uh, and we continue around the world to urge respect for human rights. Do you think it comes from a, comes from a place of anti-Semitism to make those accusations? That's what Israel's response to amnesty has been. We have had an opportunity to speak about uh, this with our uh, Israeli counterparts. They have conveyed their objections uh, to the report. Uh, as we've noted, we don't offer uh, our own uh, public comprehensive evaluations of reports, but uh, we certainly reject uh, the uh, label that has been uh, attached to this. Um, when speaking about Israel, one other point here, uh, we think that it is important, as the world's uh, only Jewish state, uh, that the Jewish people must not be denied their right to self-determination, and we must ensure uh, there isn't a double standard being applied. Now, it may be true that you don't offer public comprehensive evaluations of outside reports, but you certainly cite them quite a bit uh, in your own human rights report. And I went back and looked, and you know, when, in terms of uh, just the last human rights report cited Amnesty International on Ethiopia, on Cuba, on China and Xinjiang, on Iran, on Burma, on Syria, on Cuba, and that those references uh, are endorsements of what the this group, Amnesty, and then other groups as well that are cited as well, have found. Why is it that without taking a stand or, or, or making a judgment about uh, the findings of this particular report, why is it that all, all criticism of Israel is but from these groups is is almost always rejected by the U.S. and yet accepted, welcomed, and endorsed when it comes when when it comes out when the criticism is is of other countries, notably countries with which you have significant policy differences. Matt, I would make a couple points. Number one, when we include a footnote in something like these are the, footnotes, Ned. These are when we these are, when we these when are we cite full -on when we cite, cite yes. which. It's a game of semantics, I suppose, but whether you call it a citation or a footnote. Well, when it says in the report, Amnesty International found this X yes. in Xinjiang with right. the Uyghurs, and we th and, and, and we determine that we, we think that it's a genocide, and you guys come out and cite that and say, well, we also agree that it's a that genocide. That is a far cry, Matt, from I, saying, I'm not from saying, saying that we thing, have but comprehensive agreement with a third so party report so that was produced just, by an so outside group. When, so it's just when it's criticism of Israel that you feel free to d disagree? Where, where have you ever disagreed with an amnesty r report? Or a human rights report on a country such as Iran. This or, is not, uh, Matt. China. This is this is not about any outside group. Uh, this is about our vehement disagreement with a 
certain finding in a report by an outside group. Okay. Uh, there are plenty of times where uh, we cite, as you said, outside groups in our own reports. We cite the facts that they have uncovered, that they have put forward. But I don't think you're going to find any citation in any State Department document. Uh, and I don't think I'll regret saying this. It says the department agrees on a comprehensive basis with absolutely everything uh, that's in this report. Barbara. But. Is it the department's view that human rights abuses resulting from occupation are discrete events rather than resulting from discriminatory policies or discriminatory systems that are backed up by law? Barbara, we uh, document this comprehensively in our own human rights reports. Uh, and we document uh, uh, allegations of uh, and what we have found uh, in terms of Israel and the West Bank and the Gaza Strip uh, comprehensively on an annual basis. So I will leave it to that document to uh, speak to uh, our framework for this. I think uh, you have heard us on a number of occasions when we have uh, heard reports of or been in position to corroborate uh, human rights abuses um, in this region uh, that we have not hesitate to, hesitated to speak out. I got two really brief ones. Sure. One is uh, you may have seen that the Israeli military today said it was censuring or reprimanding um, a couple, uh, several uh, soldiers for the, their role in the death of uh, or leading to the death of a Palestinian American. Is I've been asking for a couple of days now about whether you're satisfied with your request for clarification. For does this do it? Have you gotten uh, from have you gotten this information from the Israelis, and are you satisfied with the response? Well, I expect you'll uh, we'll have a little bit more to say on this later today. But let me let me say that we continue, uh, as I said yesterday and and last week, to be concerned by the circumstances of the death of Mr. Omar Assad. Uh, he, of course, was a U.S. citizen who was found dead on January 12th after Israeli uh, soldiers detained him in the West Bank. We do note the public statement on the report of the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces, uh, commander's investigation into the case and its findings, including the determination that, uh, quote, the incident showed a clear lapse of moral judgment and a failure to, quote, protect the sanctity of any human life. Uh, the IDF public summary of the investigation further states uh, that the disciplinary action is being taken against the commander of the Netzach Yehuda Battalion and other officers responsible for the unit involved in the incident. Uh, and that the Military Police Criminal Investigation Division investigation of the case is ongoing. Uh, we expect a thorough criminal investigation and full accountability in this case, and we welcome receiving additional information on these efforts as soon as possible. We continue to discuss this troubling incident uh, with uh, the Israeli government. Okay, so this, what the IDF announced today, is not satisfactory in and of itself. You want a criminal investigation? We have. We are continuing to discuss this. These are public statements that have come from the IDF. Again, uh, we know that uh, the investigation itself uh, is ongoing, so it's something I expect right. we'll continue to discuss with our Israeli counterparts. And then one, one other one, and this is.